welcome back to my channel so for today's look we're doing this nice dewy glittery eye thingy up in here i don't know what to call it but i like it <laughs> and it's really easy to make so i hope you guys enjoy and follow along so uh i guess we're gonna start things backwards today since i already drew in my eyebrows so today we're gonna be going priming our face with the smashbox uh, hydrating photo finish Sometimes at the end I like to tap the product in because I like pulling your face like it really does cause wrinkles So I really try to be careful more so on this side. I like mainly tap this side and it looks crazy and it sounds funny, but I'm preventing wrinkles, so hey boo Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna mix our fit me dewy finish with our cover FX together Okay, I got the product out of my brush. So now it's time to go in with our cute little oval brush, I've been loving this and I swear I've only used this like three times. Like that's how much I love it already. Uh oh, I think I, oops. I like, I, I went like this and then it like soaked up product. But I'm just like, oopsie, so let me just. Okay, yeah, so I wouldn't like scoop up product with this, so that's my bad. So I just found a little con to this thingy. My product is like sunken in probably, but well, I was gonna do it again. But the way it blends. no cons at all with this blending process okay so what I do is that I take the silly sponge in order to spread out my product and then I go in with the oval brush I usually do that to um, it helps save products as well as like it really does help because you're not using as much like I just realized that like, I would have used so much more foundation than I normally would if it had not been for the silly sponge so I'm really happy I bought it in order to save me some more foundation because I really love the fit me. Like, I love a nice dewy finish. Especially in the summer, I think it's the best for me in my opinion. I don't know if you guys can see that little shadow right there, but that's eyebrow product. My Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil. I'm in shade number four, by the way, and that's exactly why I don't like doing my eyebrows first. I actually like doing them last. So next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in with our Milani Retouch Slash Plus Erase Foundation in the shade too and I personally take this on my fingers and then just dab it where I please I feel like I have more control of the product that way and I'm just more comfortable with that and as you can see I don't like go ham with it I just like I like apply it where like it's, it's I just apply it <laughs> where I want so this is another little cute oval brush by the way and we still go in our, re I mean, oh my god, I was going to say rectangle. Lord, I swear I know my shape. And what I will do is I will take the silly sponge and do that. I don't know, my high maintenance for that. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, look, the silly sponge matches my nail. I'm like so in your face. Woo! Sorry. I could just always zoom the camera in. Well, my iPad. I don't have a camera, guys. <sighs> I'm a little beginner YouTuber. <laughs> That's sad. It's really fun to imagine that one day I'll actually be like, not like in a studio, but like I'll be able to have like my own home and make it a studio of my own and have like ring lights and really nice camera and not just like sun lighting. And I just realized my AC is on, so let me turn that off right now because it's making. Now we're gonna contour with our Sephora contouring if I can find the side. Sephora, and this is in shade two. How did that happen? Oh my god! And I was just gonna say how amazing this product is. I mean, it's still amazing. Don't get me wrong, but I have no idea why it just like flip off like maybe it was stuck to like this thingy because i see like a mark there and like when i popped it off like popped off with it that's crazy who been using my stuff because i like to put it all the way down that way like it doesn't stain here but like all right whatever moving on anyways i was gonna say i really love the shape oh look at that and it's very pigmented so like oh when i first got this i was like going ham i was i was like thinking it was like the the Kim Kardashian West reviews. So I was like, oh, I gotta put a lot on, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, oh, look, it's so muddy. So no, don't put a lot on. This is pigmented enough. It gives you a nice, really, it really, it gives you a really nice finish. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it and go down. 
I really love the shape of this. It's like perfect for getting it where I want it to. I don't even contour my nose a lot. I mean, I guess I can contour a little bit over here. Double chin, cause my boyfriend takes me out to eat too much. Not that I'm complaining, I love it. But I'm just like, I'm gaining weight. And he's like, I don't see it. And I'm like, you don't see it? Or you just be nice. Now taking the highlighting part, we're gonna, this is like, this came around, which I also love. So we're just gonna put it here. Some scribbles, that looks like a Z. And I was just, this thing like reminds me of like the thing of Zelda, <laughs> so I don't know. Um, put a little circle there. And just a little bit more help here. Cause my under eyes are starting to peek out. Taking our contour brush and brushing that. You see how like pigmented that is? Brush it in. Cut that jawline. Make it sharp. I don't know if I'm blending correctly to be honest. Like my chin is such an awkward place to contour because I'm just like, do I go up, do I go down, do I go swirly? Okay, so now we're gonna take my Tarte blush in the shade Party. And we're just gonna dab in there. I love this blush so much. I swear Tarte has one of the best blushes. Like I hear it all the time, but like when you try their blushes out, you're like, they're right. They got the best brushes. <laughs> blushes. I swear I get tongue tied too easily, so that's things. So I'm sorry guys. <laughs> Try to tongue you please can't understand me. <laughs> Who can guess what I'm gonna do next? Who? Who can guess? What I'm gonna do next? Take some more. Ooh, that's a lot. I'm not gonna lie, that's a lot. <laughs> oh snap. <laughs> that was like a little pixie. Ooh, too much there. I'm gonna have to put some more bronzer. So my Urban Decay nozzle actually like got messed up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it like this and I'm going to dab this all over my face and I can feel it. I can feel it setting it. <laughs> okay, so now finally moving on to eyes, we're just going to put like a base coat on top of this just so like no veins pop out or something, some stuff like that. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is that we're gonna take a nice brown tone to warm up our eyelids, and we're gonna set that in the crease, and just blend it all over the crease. Taking my favorite brown color by BH Cosmetics, it's this one over here, love. Favorite one, it's the one that's about to hit pan, and I'm just like, no, <laughs> don't do that to me. What am I gonna do without you? And we're gonna just go a little, a little bit darker. Um, I'm just gonna take a combination of the black and this color over here. So I'm just gonna mix these two colors together and I'm gonna put it under, a little bit under the crease. A little bit under. So now for the fun part, we're gonna take our MAC Dart Lit Liquid, if that will focus, which it won't. Okay, that's not gonna focus. And it's really cool. It comes in like this little paintbrush thing. It kind of reminds me of a nail polish, which it is not. This is not a nail polish, okay? And we're just gonna coat this on our lids. Now I have really hooded lids and my lids aren't like tiny where I can give like a nice, um, where I can create a bigger lid. I feel like if I create a bigger lid, it's gonna be like about where my eyebrow is. So I'm just gonna go um, right where I see the line stop and that's where I'm gonna cut it. This is so easy to use. All you gotta do is just paint it on. Okay guys, so that's the end of the video. What I, else I use is that I use some e.l.f. pink umbrella lipstick and some Stila uh, smudge waterproof eyeliner in the color, I don't know, it seems to be like a gold color. It's this over here. I also popped on some eyelashes and my eyebrows are from Benefit. For a full description of what I'm using on my face today, please look at the description box below. And since you're already down there, you might as well hit the subscribe and like button. I mean, you guys know the drill. So I hope you guys enjoyed and have a nice day. Bye. <laughs> you get nails and you can't open anything.
Okay.